First one's gonna be 101 essays that change the way that you think. Came to Joshua Tree National Park. I'm just gonna look at some trees. Okay. I know, it's been like three months. What's up fam, it's your boy Dio and I hope that you're all doing and feeling well on whichever day you're watching this. Today's currently Tuesday, July 25th and it's 3 p.m. 3 p.m., I'm just starting my day. Last night I went to bed pretty late, but I woke up this morning and I went back in bed. And that's honestly been a really consecutive pattern that's been happening for the past few weeks. So I'm trying to get myself back in order because I haven't been enjoying the headspace that I've been in. Life just recently has been moving a little bit too fast for me. So I feel like I wanna have a grand reset. Before we go too much into it, I'm just basically gonna let you guys know what you guys can expect in today's video. As you read by the title, we are gonna be getting our life in order. I'm actually planning to take a trip for a few days to maybe Joshua Tree or somewhere where I feel like I'm away and I'm able to be a little bit more centered with myself. Like I said, it's 3 p.m. and I'm just getting my day started. So I have a few things that I know that I need to get done. The first thing that I want to do is journal. I haven't been journaling in a while. If you feel like you yourself are in any kind of creative rut or just a rut in life in general, I'm going to talk to you guys about the things that I usually do to get myself back on pace. And I'm hoping that by the end of this video, I'm going to feel a lot more censored. It's okay to not be at times, but at the same time, it's really imperative to know when to get back to that version of yourself. But let's get into the video. <laughs> Right, guys so i just finished journaling first thing that i can say when you're trying to get out of a rut journaling is so crucial you know what's crazy i didn't even mention the fact that i'm in an entire different apartment i just came to terms the other day with the fact that there's people who follow me only on youtube that don't follow me on my other social media platforms so as you can see we're in a new apartment I'm so grateful and blessed. I still have three videos that I have to edit and show you guys, which is my moving out vlog, my empty apartment tour, and my moving in vlog, which I'm gonna start working on after this video. But back to what I was saying, I just journaled, and most of you know, but if you are new here, journaling is something that actually has changed my life tremendously. I've always talked about journaling and just about every single piece of content that has to do with my life. I've been journaling for probably the past three to five years, and it's just been so transformative. When I started journaling, I just was able to have a place where I can really dump out all my emotions and thoughts on paper and finally put them together conceptualize why i'm feeling the way i feel i feel like journaling is really key and monumental for people's growth and that's exactly why i'm actually working on a productive brand that's going to have its own journals that's something that i've been working on behind the scenes i'm excited to share that with you guys because you guys know how near and dare i hold journaling to my heart i think the clarity that i got out of journaling today is is that I'm at a really interesting place in life where I have so many moves that I can make that pivots me in one or the other direction. And I guess that sort of leads up to almost feeling like I'm in an early quarter life crisis. I don't know, but I just feel like life's been really interesting and different recently. I moved all the way across the country. I'm making new friends and I really do enjoy like the company of my new friends also. And I've just been overall saying yes to doing more than I used to before, before I realized that I was able to really thrive because I was in a place of loneliness a lot, but it was loneliness by choice, not by force. You know. What I mean like I wasn't really lonely I just sort of said no a lot more and it's summer now I'm saying yes a lot more I'm in a new city I'm really enjoying the vibes but I'm just realizing that I really miss the disciplined version of myself that I was um that, that's basically what I was able to get out of journaling today and then also just like what's causing me to feel this way I had a falling out with someone that I was really close with for a long time and I didn't realize how much that affected me at first and I didn't realize like you know how much them being built into my routine changed my overall routine for me but I like I said journaling is what helps me get that clarity and I'm able to move on from it. It being summer, me going out more, my workload, me working on my brand. Overall, I've been able to just dump out everything on this piece of paper and it feels really good because now my mind feels free. So yeah, about to shower and get back to you. It's not my fault You've been lying saying that I took away your peace Drowning by yourself, now you wanna blame me Like you have no options I ain't take your options Now I'm not the problem Man, that's on you, yeah You've been terrorizing me, yeah, I'm always wrong I knew you lost your mind when you dropped that bomb 
All right, so it's currently 9.10, and I did just about every single thing that I wanted to do. I feel really good about that. I cleaned my apartment. I journaled, reflected on where I want to be at and why I'm feeling in a funk. And I also booked the Airbnb. I randomly decided last minute that I wanted to go to Joshua Tree and just sort of disconnect. Now we're about to eat, and we're going to chat for a little bit. So today we have a Fiesta salad. I get all of my groceries by Amazon Fresh. If you're not, I don't know what you're doing. And then I also have a Caesar salad. Low key, this is the first thing that I'm eating all day. Now that I've devoured this plate, I feel a lot better actually. Probably should have ate earlier. I put on my story that I almost got caught into a depressive episode. So I'm pulling out my camera, I'm getting a little bit vulnerable like old times and sharing with you guys how I'm getting out of this funk. I received over 40 replies and I really am not as down bad as I've been in the past. Like I'm just sort of in a little bit of a funk. So let me actually give you guys a life update. I've been great since I came to LA. I've been going out a lot, making new friends. They've been so cool, so welcoming, really vibrant people. Like, and I'm just happy that I met them because I feel like for the first time in a while, I'm in a group that I just, I really effortlessly fit into. Not to say that I didn't in other past friend groups. And you know, like I still have, of course, my closest friends, but obviously we're all just at different places, literally physically. I say all that to say, I'm happy that I've made the experiences that I've made in the past like two months, three months, four months that I've been here. I'm learning so much about myself. I'm coming to peace with so many situations. I'm all in all just growing. But yeah, it's getting late. This is where I'm gonna close out for the night and I will check in with y'all tomorrow. I know that I hurt you. Yeah. I'm a child trying to be a man. To all my sons worldwide. All my juniors. I apologize for my I know I left you without a Oh, good morning. So it's a new day. I'm going to plan on my day for everything that I have to get done before leaving to Joshua Tree. Yeah, today's going to be a fun day. The ride to Joshua Tree is going to be about three hours. So low-key not looking forward to that because if you've been to LA, LA highways, LA traffic, just the whole traffic system of LA is trash. So it's always a pain, but we're going to get through it. I am excited. You know what's crazy though? My apartment is like so clean right now because I finally deep cleaned it yesterday and I low-key don't want to leave, but it's good because I'm going to have a clean apartment to come back to. So I have a few things for some brands that I'm with that I need to complete firsthand, so I'm gonna get those out the way and then I'm gonna get to the gym. Today's gonna be a good and productive one. Y'all, why is it literally 12 o'clock and I'm just getting done? I literally redid that voiceover at least like 15 times. So when you guys see my Dove ad, just make sure you guys run it up. It's gonna be on TikTok. It should be up by the time this video is posted. But what I'm about to do is go to the gym because literally it's 12 o'clock. I have a three hour drive to Joshua Tree and I need to pack still. Granted, like I'm not going anywhere fancy. I'm just gonna probably pack one outfit that I can shoot and the rest is just gonna be chill ass calm outfit. What we're about to do is take our Power Beats. Let me just tell y'all right now, if you are not the type to take pre-workout, Power Beats right here is good. I can't take pre-workout just because I'm trying to work on my current caffeine intake it gives you a really nice natural source of energy so definitely incorporate that into your daily routine i also wanted to take greens but i just think i'm gonna skip out on it before i hit the gym i'm not looking forward to drinking this at all let's go look me in the eyes junior you can either sin be with all of these haters be on you getting back i had a decent workout i probably worked out for 35 45 minutes i don't know i just wasn't feeling it today the one thing that i don't want to do is burn myself out i usually try and get to like an hour and a half but i'm like you know what it's my first day back let me ease myself back in and i know that i'm probably gonna go on like a hike or a run later tonight so it's okay so while I'm packing, I'm deciding the books that I'm gonna bring with me. First one's gonna be 101 Essays That Change the Way That You Think. And I really like this one because it has a whole bunch of essays. I can read it at my own pace without feeling like I need to follow through with the book from beginning to end, because it just has a whole bunch of different essays. I read one title that really stuck out to me, so that should be interesting. And then this one here is How to Be an Imperfectionist. I feel like that's something that I'm struggling with right now. Because I've been operating my entire life from a different flow state, I feel like I'm finding a lot of issues with being an imperfectionist, so. This will be cool. And then I also have this hair that I bought and I never even used. This right here is the Rise and Read book journal. Basically inside of it, all it has is empty slots for you to enter in the book that you're reading, the title, the author, when you started it, if it's fiction, nonfiction, and then your favorite quotes, et cetera. So I'm gonna actually try and write down the things that I read so that I can be really intentional about retaining the information because that doesn't really happen that often. I have all my tech stuff packed. So now I'm going to pack my clothes, hop in the shower, and we are gonna be off to Joshua Tree. 
so we're ready to leave and i will say one thing about me is i'm gonna overpack why do i have all these shirts all these shorts sock stuff whatever that's cool all my products for my skin, hair, etc. I'm gonna be out in the desert, so best believe this is gonna be right by my bed. I'm bringing my foam roller and my yoga mat just because, like I said, I wanna connect with myself out there. So, do some yoga and shit like that. There's truly no reason for me packing all this, but I'd rather be over prepared than under prepared. So, I'm gonna get all this packed and then we're gonna be out. No way. I don't even know what part of California I'm in right now, but I'm starving. I still had about two hours to go, so I just stopped by this place. I saw it's like a Greek spot that has falafels and gyros and stuff like that. God damn, it's hot out here. Chicken shawarma plate. Thank you. I think we're going to start a thing called Q&A segment, and we'll do this in each vlog. I'm just going to answer a bunch of Q&As that I have from an old poll that I put up on my story about questions. So it looks like the last time that I asked you guys to give me questions was all the way back in February. We have a ton to go through, so let's go through them. Someone said, what are you looking most forward to this month? Obviously, they were asking a long time ago, but I'll say this month, what I'm looking most forward to is just recentering with myself again and being a little bit more consistent, a little bit more determined in the gym, just overall more disciplined. How do you keep your mental health in check? That's such a great question. I really feel like the best way for anyone to keep their mental health in check is to think about times where they feel like their mental health was at their peak and remember what you were doing who you were with where you were and why that made you feel that way thank you thank you so much no that's it thank you Sheesh. so yeah for me it's like getting centered back with myself again and feeding myself nutritional foods and saying less to going out a little bit more being a little bit more disciplined in the gym i feel like i share with you guys pretty often how i like to keep myself mentally afloat so all of those things plus i plan to make a video all about this someone said are you officially moved into your new place and how's the community obviously by now you guys already know my other platforms that i'm officially moved in i love the community as far as like the friends and the people that i have in la i feel like i just truly had every single type of personality that i need within my friendships favorite part of la honestly probably hollywood just because that's where all the events are that's where I'm at a lot of times, so probably Hollywood. Burbank is a really nice style. I really like Burbank Hills, a hidden gem. Father God, thank you for this food in Jesus' name, amen. Someone said, how do you stay disciplined? I'm struggling as we speak, but I'm trying. I feel like through a routine is how you stay disciplined. I just know I need to get back into routine. Pineapple on pizza, absolutely. Pineapple belongs on pizza, I'm gonna tell you. Missed you, do you have any goals for this year? I do have a lot of goals for this year. One of my goals is to launch my business that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys pretty soon. I'm so excited about that. Me and my designer have been working hard and really doing a lot of work behind the scenes. When did you start to take care of your space and how'd you do this? So I guess what they're trying to ask is like, when did I become a little bit more organized and what caused me to be that way? Yeah, I started taking care of my spot at my parents' house. That was when I was really starting to learn how much of a correlation there is between how clean your space is and how your mind feels. Like I genuinely believe decluttered space is a decluttered mind. Someone said, what's one decision that you made in your life that as someone in your 20s you can appreciate up until today i would say saying no to other people and saying yes more to myself there was a lot of times where people would invite me out and things along those lines and i would say no to going out instead of going to like parties and doing things like that i'd be focusing on my business really just making sure that i'm focused on my goals i think that because i was goal oriented at a younger age than most people i was able to see the success that i'm seeing now that's allowing me to finally get that enjoyment that i would have gotten those years that my peers and other people were so that's my last question i'm gonna finish eating and then we'll chat later Three hours later, we are officially here. I'm gonna say that this place is a little bit smaller than I thought, but I'm not mad at it because you know what? I need to go for a minimalistic vibe. This is the space. Outside has a really nice balcony area. Joshua Tree overall is low key a little scary. It's literally a desert. Like I'm literally in the middle of the desert. It just gives me the vibes of like those movies where there's not supposed to be a black person present. I thought this was a fridge from the Airbnb pictures. This is a microwave and cleaning supplies. <laughs> stove set up over there and a fridge. I'm gonna check out for today and I'll catch y'all tomorrow. <laughs> What's
What's up, y'all? It is the first day here. You won't believe it's actually 2 p.m. So here's what happened. I woke up, obviously, as you saw this morning, I saw the sunset. I went to bed last night at like 1.30. I'm running on like no sleep, and I tried to get a nap. That's the reason why it's 2 p.m. I've been trying to nap for like the past hours, and I just can't. So I'm just gonna eat the salad, get in the shower, and then get my day started. I don't think I'm gonna do anything active today, but I think what I will do today is drive around to different spots of Joshua Tree that are pretty known, Joshua Tree Park, etc. I think I'm gonna bring my book and my journal, and yeah. Back to Georgia, back to Atlanta Money, I'm present to invest I'm a fly Priscilla, I'll just be better Hey, how's it going? Can I get a plate, please? Can I do the super greens? The broccoli beef? Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh-huh. So if you guys could tell, I ordered options that you probably normally wouldn't get when you're at Panda Express. So I looked over here, shows you the entrees and the size. I just wanted to make sure I had the lowest calorie option. That's something that I've been doing recently, is I will check how many calories are in the certain foods that I'm eating. Just because there's a lot of times that you can eat something that looks like it's supposed to be healthy, and it's hella calories. And if you've been on a weight loss journey, of any sort, then you know that calories is way more important than actually what you're eating. It's been about two hours since I left the house. I went to Walmart. Now we're gonna just explore. It's really hot outside. Like it's 109 degrees. So place is really beautiful right but I don't know what else to do here came to Joshua Tree National Park got out my car and I'm just gonna look at some trees okay Yeah, so I just got back from working out. I burned a total of 754 calories and I worked out for about an hour. But that workout felt really good. I'm really proud of myself for pushing through. My first day working out since being here, of course I went on walks and stuff, but like I actually worked out super hungry. I really didn't want to break my fast with a huge salad, but then again, I'm gonna be outside in this heat. So the same type of salad from yesterday, except this time I'm gonna add in a pack of tuna. So these right here are the best because they're it's only 90 calories for the whole thing and it's 16 grams of protein. Super clutch. The trip's been going pretty good so far. I've really just been trying to connect with myself again. Journal, read, be outside in the element, try and stay off my phone. I've been on my phone a lot because I have so many business things. Like, yo, I know y'all saw my stories, but it's good. I know business doesn't stop for no one, so I obviously have to do what I gotta do and stop complaining, because at the end of the day, these are the people who are helping me. It's a one hand washes the other sort of ordeal. I'm gonna choose one of the essay passages and read that while I eat. I refused to get in this car and be burned up like I was yesterday, so I made sure to preheat the car. And I'm really happy that I did that because it's 109 degrees, which is insane. For some reason, I decided I wanna go on another run. Don't know where this is coming from because I'm not really a fan of running, but I liked earlier how it felt to push myself, so I wanna push myself again. I'm gonna just try and find somewhere that looks decently peaceful, go for a run, and afterwards I'm gonna read for a little bit more. What's up you guys so it's currently august 14th and obviously as you can tell some time has passed i'm not the happiest about how long it took me to edit it but i'm glad that i did because at the end of the day it was five hours worth of footage somehow it got cut down into 20 minutes so literally it took me days to edit and i knew that it would and because i was working on other things it just sort of prolonged me releasing this video but i'm really happy watching this video back and seeing how much those few days have really helped me i feel like i'm in such a better place mentally now i feel like when i went to joshua tree i really just wanted to take some time to myself and disconnect because la is really busy like even as soon as i came back I just felt the energy of LA and it's pretty wild how much it affects me more than I thought I think growing up in a suburban area, which is New Jersey and then living in Philly Which is like a smaller city. It was a lot easier for me to maneuver now It's just constant movement, but that's just another thing for me to tackle in this journey of life But I wanted to just come on and personally thank you guys so much for sticking all the way on to the end I feel like the whole purpose of this video and what I wanted you guys to get out of this is The few ways that I always try and bounce back when I'm not feeling the best mentally Which is to reconnect with myself and obviously not everyone can just pick up and leave and go 
go on a quick solo trip and I'm definitely privileged to be able to do so and I'm grateful but besides the fact that I took a trip I mean there's still so much that you can take away from it such as me reconnecting with myself me cleaning my space me making sure that my space reflects how I want my mental real estate to be me journaling reading taking a little bit more time off of my phone just Trying to do all the things that I know deep down usually brings me a sense of clarity and peace. I do plan to make an entire video, which is just gonna be a single day in the life where I'm getting myself back in order. I'm gonna try and make that one of my next videos, but I still have an empty apartment tour to edit and my first vlog in LA. So let me know if you guys wanna see those. I'm also gonna do an apartment tour, but I still have a few more pieces to add. If you guys felt like this personally helped you or if you would like to see more videos like this, whatever the suggestion or the comment may be, make sure to leave it down below. Also like it and share it with a friend if you want. But this is gonna be me checking out. Until the next time, as always, much love, much light. I'm over and out.